So you just developed an application and you're ready to push forward in the market with production, but discover a major security vulnerability that causes you to go back and rework the code entirely. This could take days, weeks, or even months to fix, which in turn causes your deployment deadline to slip, increased costs to rework, and disappointed end users who are excited about this new app. So why did this happen and how can you fix this moving forward? Hi, I'm Carolyn, and I'm a product marketing manager with Red Hat. And today we're gonna to be talking about shift left security and why it's important for developers and IT professionals. When we think about shift left security, it's important to think about the software development lifecycle, or the SDLC. The SDLC is a framework that developers use to develop, deploy, and maintain their applications. And you can think of this as a line that goes from the left to the right. The left-hand side is all focused on coding and building the application software itself. So key activities here include planning the scope of the software, defining function requirements, designing key parameters like the platform or the architecture, and building the software itself. So that is all covered on the left-hand side of the SDLC. The right-hand side is all focused on production. So key activities here include the testing phase, which includes security tests of the application, the deployment stage, so making the app available to its intended end users, and then lastly, the maintenance stage, so constantly addressing different bugs and vulnerabilities that pop up. Traditionally, when looking at the SDLC, you can see that this testing phase comes after the code has already been built. The problem with this is that security flaws oftentimes go unnoticed within the SDLC process and in turn cause for costly and complex rework later down the line. This makes it a very reactive approach. Enter shift left security. Shift left security is a concept that essentially moves this security testing phase over to the left-hand side of the software development lifecycle where the code is actually being built. This has become fundamental to modern software application development because by doing so, developers can quickly identify the security flaws as soon as they come up. They can save vital time and resources and money, and they can ultimately create a higher quality end product. The idea of shift left security builds upon the common concept of DevSecOps, in which developer teams, developer operations teams, are in close collaboration with security teams. It's important for DevOps and security teams to kind of share that responsibility of security across all departments so that they can ensure early and continuous security integration rather than leaving it as an afterthought. So let's go ahead and walk through some of the benefits of shift left security. Benefits. So, the first benefit of shift left security is obviously you're going to have better security overall of your application. So that is a huge benefit for both you and the end users. You can also ensure that you're delivering your apps faster. Um, so you are making them available for the end users as soon as you say that you are. That's gonna overall enhance their experience. And as the developer, you will ensure that you are saving time and money while additionally reducing overhead costs because you don't have to go back and rework the application as soon as you see those security vulnerabilities arise. The last benefit of shift left security is that you are going to reduce overall delays in production. So that's a quick list for you. The bottom line is that nobody benefits when security policies are a mystery. It's important for developers to not only understand security policies, but include remediation within their developer tasks so that they can proactively address security risks. 
With ShiftLeft Security, there are a variety of tools that developers can choose from to help strengthen their DevSecOps approach. One of which is Red Hat Advanced Cluster Security for Kubernetes, or ACS. ACS works with any Kubernetes environment, and it automates this, the DevSecOps best practices and integrates DevOps tools with security tools to secure workloads and shift security left. ACS is included within a grouping of tools at Red Hat called Red Hat Trusted Software Supply Chain, or TSSC, which helps organizations secure their workloads from the beginning of the software development life cycle, rather than leaving it as an afterthought as we discussed previously. If you want to learn more about these tools, Red Hat ACS and Trusted Software Supply Chain, along with additional resources around shift left security and DevSecOps approach, be sure to check out the links below. That's all I have for you for today. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.